Hi friends, this is Vijay Perepa. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a animated donut chart with conditional formatting. I have created one control here. This control is with percentages and if I change a percentage accordingly, the donut chart is showing a color and number as well. So I have given three parameters here, which is one is 75%, which is um, below good or rather it is not good and uh, second parameter is below 90% and above 75% that is ok kind of situation and then above 90% which is totally good so red, yellow, green now let us see how to create it it's very simple and we can make it less than 5 minutes first let us create one a simple data table for creating a chart so I have uh, three conditions of achievement one is percentage of achievement first let us say I have 75 percent where I say it is not good at all it's red and I have uh, beyond 75 percent but below 90 percent which is average that means uh, yellow and I have 100 percent that means 90 to 100 percent which is good and green now I am creating uh, one additional table where I say conditional formatting right in this I am creating few formula I am saying that if it is below if the trigger I am creating a trigger here the trigger to animate let us say first I create 70% so if the trigger is less than 75% less than or equal to 75% it should show that percentage otherwise it should not show anything that means if the trigger which is 72 percent is less than or equal to this percentage which is 75 percent then say um, the trigger itself otherwise there is nothing to be shown enter the moment if i change this 72 percent to 80 percent this will disappear so this was, this is what the condition is talking about now let us go to the next condition and then here we have to use AND uh, condition with along with IF so I am creating uh, AND here we can create more than one logics basically that is what uh, we use AND, OR etc so IF AND first of all I wanted to say that the trigger is greater than 75% that is in one condition I have to show the number here in another condition the trigger is less than or equal to 90 percent in these two conditions i need this trigger to appear here sorry and have to say here comma i need to this trigger appear here otherwise nothing to appear so the moment i change this to 91 percent this disappears because i am giving a condition this one need to be appeared only when these two numbers are um, these two conditions are satisfied that is the trigger is more than 75 percent or trigger is more uh, less than or equal to 90 percent the final one is if the trigger is greater than 95 90 percent right now the trigger should appear otherwise nothing so now 91 will appear suppose i change it to 75 percent only the first condition which is 75 percent will appear and if I change this to say 80 percent the second condition only show the number and if I say this is like uh, 95 percent uh, 96 percent rather than anything the third condition will appear so let me make it as the format as percentage now I need to make the graph that is donut graph so first I will take this 72 percent so that number starts there and then there is one more thing is appearing I'm missing that is balance because in the donut chart I'm showing only 72 percent remaining reminder I need to show with the gray kind of thing for that I have to create a balance that is nothing but 100 percent minus 72 percent if you see the uh, conditions here if I make it to 80 the reminder will become uh, the balance will become 20 if I take 90 it will become 10 so that accordingly my donut chart will uh, act so so that animation it like, looks like an animation so let me make it 72 first and then and you need to make sure that 
when you are making this chart always the number should appear in the first condition otherwise your chart will go haywire so i am taking 72% as my trigger and then select this go to insert go to uh, pie charts and select donut here the other thing comes in what i say first i am at 72 so let me this is the second part this is the bigger um, bigger segment of the donut is uh, showing 72 percent this is red for me so i'm going to the format go to shape fill make it as red and i'll apply some uh, apply some beautification kind of thing i'll go to gradient and i say yes this and i'll add some effects also i show i go there and add some glow with red right and the more thing i say i don't want shape outline at all so it looks very nice and i'll make sure that this one grayed out so that it is not showing anything i just go to like this and there is no outline rather i'll create an outline rather i'll, I'll do one thing i'll create uh, an outline like this and there is no fill at all so it will show empty so that is nothing is there so that to be filled in then only it will become red to blue red to yellow yellow to green let me just remove this and we can create the chart title later now let me create this to 80% the moment i created 80% it is getting into different color but let me make this the higher segment of the donut to uh, say yellow which is average and then again i'll uh, make it like a gradient for some kind of beautification and then go to shape effects i go to uh, glow and i'll go to uh, glow options only i'll take this color and i'll remove outline now it looks appear very nice and i'll make this to 90 uh, 1% or 92% so again i need to make sure that this color is green this is green no outline slightest beautification gradient add a gradient and then go to effects and add a slightest glow which is again this green so this is again appearing nice now you see if i change any number it will automatically showing it now let me uh, make this as a dynamic field for that purpose i have to add 1% to 100% numbers 1 and then 2% and then just drag it down select it drag it down till 100% yeah and I don't want 1 at 1 and not 2 this only 100% and I'll make one list what I do I select this and uh, rather I select this go to data and uh, data validation and I'll go to list I select this range I'll select this range and I'll make it at a list so control this yes say okay and I'll make sure that this will not appear to everybody home and then make it text to white so that's, that disappears but here some value will appear now I'll make this format to percentage and then I'll link it to this uh, cell so that whenever I change the number here as a control number if I select something that is actually animated and I'll just place my chart here on the numbers so it doesn't appear only the control will appear and then I'll make this little bigger one it's 24% so it looks very prominent and then now animating the number very interesting just select one text box sorry I have to see the view something has gone wrong so insert select a text box just press on it and now you can uh, link the text box to a cell right for that so that the text box the text of the text box will accordingly act and it will be dynamic basically it will get, get linked to the uh, cell so there you have to go to the formula bar say is equal to and give the reference the moment you give the reference the form the text box will have a dynamic number which is actually changing based on the cell reference here so this is a very interesting thing in excel 
Now if I change this number to 16 or whatever number, make sure that your text box is and text box is a little larger. And if I say to 100, it will become 100 so that again that should be larger enough. Keep it here. And then now you can just animate 70, 97%, 100% and do whatever percent you want and accordingly the text is also animating and your graph is also animating. I hope it is easy for you and you are enjoying it and make sure that you practice it and learn it. Thank you very much.